You may have heard of the word ACMO a lot in recent news report and wonder what it is. In the COVID-19 pandemic, ACMO is used globally as a last resort to save patients. So, how does ACMO save COVID-19 patients? ECMO is short for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. It is a machine used to, to replace the heart and lung function in open heart surgery. In simple words, it allows the heart and lungs to rest by pumping and oxygenating a patient's blood outside the body. We know that the novel coronavirus mainly attacks the lungs. Therefore, although not designed for COVID-19, ECMO has been used as an adjunct support for COVID-19 patients in critical condition since the beginning of the outbreak. For COVID-19 patients, their lung function is significantly impaired by the virus, which could cause serious respiratory inefficiency and low level of oxygen in their blood. These are indications of ECMO. Once connected, the machine can temporarily replace the patient's cardiopulmonary function for gas exchange and blood circulation to keep other organs working, which buys doctors precious time to save the patient. You may think that once connected to ACMO, COVID-19 patients will be saved, no matter how sick they are. Unfortunately, that's not true. As a way of life support, ACMO cannot guarantee that the patient will be brought back to life and has its limitations. Firstly, ECMO is not suitable for every patient. One premise is that patients can use ECMO only if their lung function can be restored after the removal of it, and the function of other organs is relatively good. For seniors with underlying diseases, the risk of death is higher with ECMO. Secondly, patients treated with ECMO will experience some impairment of lung function. Although the remaining lung function can support daily life, full recovery is impossible. Also, complications could happen during ECMO treatment. Therefore, we need to be clear that ECMO is just a temporary replacement of cardiopulmonary function. It can indeed save lives, but the key to patient survival lies on whether the primary disease can be effectively treated, in this case, COVID-19. So even if there is a last resort in saving coronavirus patients, the best way we can protect ourselves is taking protection measures to avoid infection in the first place.